Good morning. We will start with our little chanting. Please join me with your palms together. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Namo tas bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhas Buddhang saranang gachami Dhammang saranang gachami Sanghang saranang gachami Dutiyam pi buddhang saranang gachami Dutiyam pidhammang saranang gachami Dutiyam pisanghang saranang gachami Tatiyam pibuddhang saranang gachami Tatiyam pidhammang saranang gachami Tatiyam pi sanghang saranang gachami Panati pata veramani sikha padang samadhyami Adinnadana veramani sikha padang samadhyami Kami sumicha chara vere mani sikha padang samadhyami Musavada vere mani sikha padang samadhyami Surami re majapamadatana vere mani sikha Padang Samadhyami <clears throat> I take refuge in the Buddha, I take refuge in the Dhamma, I take refuge in the Sangha. I abstain from killing, I abstain from taking what is not given, I abstain from sexual misconduct, I abstain from telling lies, I abstain from intoxications, drugs, and alcohol. Itipiso bhagava arhang samma sambuddho vijjacharana sampanno sugato lokavidu anuttaro purisadam sarathi Sattha Deva Manusanam Buddho Bhagavati Swakato Bhagavata Dhammo Sandithiko Akaliko Ehi Pasiko Opanaiko Pachatam Veditabo Inuhiti Supatipano Bhagavato Savak Sangho Ujupatipano Bhagavato Savak Sangho Nyaya Patipanno Bhagavato Savaka Sangho 
Samichi Pati Pano Bhagavato Savak Sangho Yadidang Chattari Purisa Yugani Adha Purisa Pugala Esa Bhagavato Savak Sangho Ahuneyo Ahuneyo Dakhineyo Anjali Karaneyo Anuttarang Punyakhetang Lokasati Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu Please prepare yourself physically and mentally. Sitting in a proper posture, paying attention to your physical body's position, keeping your body up in an upright position. Now your eyes close. Take a deep breath in. Now release. Continue being aware of your breath. Relax your jaws, relax your shoulders. Relax your sitting bones, relax your toes. Grounded here and now. Absorbing all good energy into the center of your heart. From your heart base, you begin radiating loving kindness. Across your body, above, below, to the left and right, in every direction. You and yourself deserve the love that you are trying to give to others. Purifying your bloodstream, you have metta, friendliness, running in your blood. 
healing those aggressive places and calming down your bodily sensations. Metta to your face. Your face is full of friendliness now. You sleep well, that is because you have friendliness in you. You wake up well, that is because you have friendliness in you. You don't see nightmares, that is because you are a good friend in you. Greed, hatred and delusion aren't strong in your mind. Just like poison, the venom, fire, weapons. Because when you use them, you have strong mindfulness and friendliness in you. <clears throat> Nothing can cut you. You are friendly to human beings. You are friendly to divine beings. Non-humans love you. They are friends with you. The deities give you protection wherever you happen to be. This loving kindness will purify your mind and will give you birth in Brahma Riyam, in a pure abode, in a pure abiding. When you have not gone to a state even beyond that light, like becoming fully enlightened, eradicating your attachment to any existence. There are beings who are frightened, who need your friendliness. You move around them gently. Caring for their abode. Wherever they are, wherever they want to be, you let them be. Your approach to them is gentle, soft and kind. They don't frighten, they don't get frightened. You remain calm. There are beings who are living in the same place for thousands of years. Their body has grown bigger and bigger. You are friends with these imaginary beings. Seen and unseen. Some are seen, so they are not actually imaginary beings. Some beings live in great oceans, 
in the deep, luminous, minding on their businesses. Aren't we friends with them? We are. May they be well and happy. Where there is any living condition, even in the outer space, there can be beings somewhere in the planet, even in an asteroid, they go through harsh conditions, thriving conditions, they undergo all these nature's calamities. They have not done anything wrong to us. So we cannot think with fear, with anger about these beings. Even if they have done something wrong, we forgive them. Forgiveness is giving us so much relief. Here and now we feel the value of the Dhamma of forgiving. Without holding any grudges toward any being anywhere whatsoever, You radiate loving kindness in your home, filling every corner, every room, every exit. with your friendliness. Memories in this house are full of friendliness in your mind as of now. Radiate loving kindness to your neighbor. Radiate loving kindness to your street. They are all your neighbors. Also think of the neighboring streets. They run in different directions. These streets take, take us to homes of the people that you don't know. So you are very gentle in their homes. A visitor, you will be welcome in these places.
Now you realize there are so many streets. May this whole town with all these streets, signposts, all these people, houses, vehicles, properties, may they all be free from danger, free from illness, free from fears, free from calamities, free from threats. May their lives be safe on the road, in workplaces at home, when they are shopping, when they are taking steps, wherever they happen to be. They are safe wherever I, I happen to be. I will direct my mind with loving kindness, with friendliness, with mitta. Starting <clears throat> from my heart to home, home to the street, to the neighbors, to this whole village. People have settled in these areas for various needs. It is a nice feeling to be friendly, to imagine that you have friendships with all these beings. And what about the beings that you cannot see? The spirit beings. Whatever their main focus is, may they get abundance of it, fulfill their wishes, and be born in greater places, leading toward overcoming any suffering. May those beings who may be ill, suffering from an illness, it may be a simple headache or a disability, cancers, little and minor or big problems may as well be COVID-19. They may be bedridden, cannot even prepare a meal for themselves, feeling isolated, weak, voiceless, fearful. And you approach gently to their space to care for them, like the Buddha attending the sick monk and telling you that is the kind of Dhamma that I have taught you. When you look after someone who is sick, you are attending to the advice of the Buddha. You are attending to me, said the Buddha. This whole state of Michigan, or whatever the state that you join from, You are friends and friends only 
with those beings who may have done nothing to you and something to you in the bank, in your workplace or in the street. People do things to others. Now count your friends, they are a blessing for you. You know, sometimes friends are beautiful that they are strongly bonded with us. Then your blood relatives. Their hearts are so pure, they are a gift that we have received and you can unwrap this gift of friendship anytime. You can blame them, you can praise them, you can trust them that they will be there even if they are not there when you need them. That is okay. In the end, friends are friends. They are there with you without wanting anything from you. giving you laughter, joy, happiness, lot of preeti, lot of happiness, smiles, good memories, support. It's unimaginable the beginning of a friendship and the end of a friendship. It's never ending. I could only give friendship to them. If you feel any relax now, it is owing to these beings that you feel relaxed. There are <clears throat> many beings, including the beings that you cannot see in, in microscopic spaces. And four-footed animals, all they need is some food, safety, some place to be. Things like water, You want to give them all this, but you know, you cannot fulfill that need. 
you can only abide gently, friendly, friendly manner and you are supporting them from here without being their enemy, without running behind them to catch them, to own them. Even huge elephants All these beings who have lives surviving somehow. They have their own memories of their own families, their own little worlds. How can we kill them? How can we be angry? How can we even eat them? May all beings be well and happy. May all beings be well and happy. May all beings be well and This is what should be done by one who is skilled in goodness 
And who knows the path of peace? Let them be able and upright, straightforward and gentle in speech, humble and not conceited, contented and easily satisfied, unburdened with duties and frugal in their ways, peaceful and calm and wise and skillful, not proud and demanding in nature, let them not do the slightest thing that the wise would later reprove. Wishing in gladness and in safety, may all beings be at ease. Whatever living beings there may be, whether they are weak or strong, or meeting none, the great or the mighty, medium, short or small, the seen and the unseen, those living near and far away, those born and to be born, may all beings be at ease. Let none deceive another or despise any being in any state. Let none through anger or ill will wish harm upon another. Even as a mother protects with her life her child, her only child. So with a boundless heart should one cherish all living beings, radiating kindness over the entire world, spreading upwards to the skies and downwards to the depths, outwards and unbounded, freed from hatred and ill will, whether standing or walking, seated or lying down, free from drowsiness, one should sustain this recollection. This is said to be the sublime abiding by not holding to fixed views, the pure-hearted one, having clarity of vision, being freed from all sense desires is not born again into this world. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. <clears throat> so for this morning, I have a little story to share to begin with. There were two friends, Jack and Tom, walking in the, desert, in, the, in the desert. They had an argument in the middle of their journey. So Jack hit Tom. And Tom was hurt. He brought it down in the sand. Today, my friend hurt me. So they, they continued their journey after the argument being hurt. And then they came to an oasis where there is water. They were exhausted, they were tired. They wanted to drink water and also have a bath. After drinking water and resting, before their journey, they began bathing in the water. So again, the same friend who hit, who hit saw that the other friend was drowning. 
the one who was drowning was the one that was that wrote in the sand that my friend hit me today my best friend hit me today but the same friend who assaulted who hit him came for rescue and rescued him from drowning and that same friend who wrote the previous thing in the sand wrote in a stone now that today my best friend saved me so that asked why did you write the previous one in sand and this one in stone then tom said i wrote my previous experience in sand because the wind of forgiveness come and erase these memories i wrote you rescue me in stone because i don't want it to be erased from my from my heart look at those stone carvings gretos belonging to centuries old memories they are still preserved in caves in china and in ancient india and in sri lanka that is because things good that somebody has done to you should be written should be carved should be marked in stone and other things that we try to remember like they are written in stone should be written in sand and the forgiveness the wind of forgiveness come will come and erase them so today one of my friends father is reaching to the his 90th birthday this father has done so many wrong things to my friend but she is going to write to him and say you are celebrating your third 30th birthday and have an enjoyable memorable day i'm grateful for raising me and i'm grateful for loving me as best as you can and happy birthday third 30th birth it's very rare some some people reach to that age nowadays so it's something to celebrate some of you may have celebrated your second 30th birthday just like that life becomes new and these are recyclable events in life that we can recycle these memories produce something new because when there is a crack the crack is where the light enters like kintsugi in japan says when something is broken fix it with gold so the value of the broken thing increases so the gold is within you and the gold is invaluable which is your precious loving kindness healing you and benefiting you before it benefits others are the first person to be benefited with loving kindness when it says loving kindness love is something very dangerous to be there because love comes with attachment so always this kindness friendly kindness friendliness metta that has a healing effect on you is what we radiate to your street to your home to all these beings and you are the first per- person to be benefited 
filling all quarters in, of your mind with loving kindness. This takes you to, as the Buddha has advised, cultivate it with mindfulness, cultivate it with an awakening factor of investigation of your mind, cultivate it with joy, tranquility, cultivate it with concentration, samadhi and equanimity that arise as a result of the previous conditions like mindfulness, joy, etc. So these are showing you the path toward awakening with just practicing love and kindness. And I mentioned the benefits that you wake up happy, wake up free, wake up without being frightened. And that is as a result of having loving kindness. I trust that there was enough learning today for this weekend. This is the long weekend. People celebrate the moment when the son of the gods, God's son, Jesus was crucified. Easter has come, Easter will come, and people are cel celebrating this spiritual moment, fasting, sacrificing something on their own, loving toward the great savior they, they believe, trying to become closer to his life, to the sacrifices he made. People consider it as light rising in the world. So happy Easter to all of you. Any loving thoughts? Only loving thoughts before we close for today. I think that was a beautiful meditation and your little sharing afterwards it was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was random that I decided to do this loving kindness meditation. <clears throat> So I see this message. Thank you for, thank you Bhante for helping cultivate an unbounded mind towards all beings and loving kindness toward the whole world. Thank you, Nona. And Shiranti Nona, thank you for the words. So have a blessed day. Take care of yourself. Remember to exercise, walk, read, awaken your mind. Spend time with yourself, with love. Happy meditation. Thank you, Bhante. Thank you, Bhante. Good Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.